Hey, you've seen pictures like this already on our digital gallery. Here's a 19th century artist depiction of the Temple of Vespasian and Titus in the Roman Forum, taken from the digital gallery. However, did you know that there are lots of other places on the web where you can find pictures of the ancient world? That's right, Dina. In fact, here is a photograph of the Forum taken a few years ago by a newlywed couple while on their honeymoon in Rome. The same temple you saw in the previous picture is here at the center of the photograph. Notice how much more of it is visible now as a result of all the excavations done by archaeologists in the years since the artists visited the site in the early 19th century. The couple on honeymoon used the website Flickr to share this picture with us. And here is a reconstruction of the same Roman temple done in computer animation by scholars at the University of California at Los Angeles. The website lets you see the building as we imagine it would have looked in ancient times. You can even virtually go into the temple and see its interior as a worshiper or tourist would have done almost 2,000 years ago. So there you are. Three views of the same object from three different places on the internet. Now here we've put together some other really great websites that we think will help you to continue your exploration of the ancient world. They contain both information and pictures and some even have nifty games that you can play. Just remember one thing though, copyright. That's right, Raymond. Just remember that the images on the sites we listed are copyrighted, meaning that they're owned by someone else, and that you can't republish them without direct permission from the copyright holder. This means that you can't repost the images on other websites or blogs, including sites like myspace.com or even here on voicethread.com. To learn more about copyright, check out this video, Copyright 101, put together by Brigham Young University. But don't be discouraged. There are creators of images who don't mind sharing their work. They often register their pictures with what's called a Creative Commons license. A commons is a public meeting place, like a town square or city hall. When an artist designates something as Creative Commons, they're saying that they don't mind if other people copy their work or use it for inspiration. This is a good place for someone to post an image, slogan, or song that they want people to use and spread around. In this case, the creator of a work thinks it's more important that others use it and pass it on than that the artist keeps total control. They may ask for a credit as a courtesy, but they won't make a fuss the way a copyright holder would about using an image without their permission. There's even a Creative Commons website where you can search for images of this kind. All of this might seem a bit complicated, so we want to emphasize that the library's website is a safe place to find images for your projects. You don't have to worry about copyrights. And in fact, there's lots more pictures on the di digital gallery than what you've seen already. Here, for instance, is a fantastic collection of rare views of Egypt and the Near East, showing the remains of ancient structures as they were 100 to 300 years ago. Go ahead and use them. Just be sure to include a brief reference to us if you take our images to another place. This is so that people can know where to find the original.